Hey guys, it's Super Tillion here, reviewing the Solid State Drive by SanDisk. This is a 64GB drive which I purchased from Amazon for a measly £42, I believe. Um, it comes in plain packaging and I will be putting it in my laptop as it has a 320GB uh, normal standard Western Digital Scorpio Blue drive. Uh, which I will be recycling and using in the laptop again. What I will be doing is, um, it hasn't arrived yet, but I'm getting a CD-ROM to um, hard drive conversion kit. So basically I will then use this as my primary drive and the 320 gigabyte drive as the secondary drive for files and games and other stuff like that. So let's get on to the boot time with the normal hard drive. Hi guys, this is my laptop. It's an Acer 7741G. It sports a 17.3 inch LED backlit screen. Uh, it has an Intel Core i3 350M mobile edition, as the M entails. Uh, it's got 4GB of 1333 memory, a DDR3. It has dedicated in. Uh, Radeon HD 5400 series graphics and it also has a tired 320GB Scorpio Blue hard drive. Um, basically we are going to see how long it takes to boot from power button press to desktop and then we are going to put the SSD in it and do the same again. So let's start now. This is the part where it hangs the most. Uh, it's not really the best of benchmarks, but it's done now. As it is, fair enough, it is uh, a hard drive, but it's a clean installation of Windows 8, so you know you don't really have real use a uh, benchmark, as obviously it's clean. But uh, what we'll do now is we'll take the original hard drive out and we'll put the SSD in. Welcome back guys, this is the disassembly for my laptop to take the old hard drive out. I apologise for the wobbly camera, I am using my mobile right now. Um, I don't have a fixed camera or a tripod, so this is the best I can do. Right, so we'll take out one screw. These screws don't actually come out of the laptop, they uh, stick in, they stay in the actual housing so you don't lose them, which is a good feature of this laptop. Um, the reason I actually have this laptop on Windows 8 is because my Windows 7 license key is gone. So I can't even put it on Windows 7 again if I wanted to because I'd have to install an illegal version. I do have a legal version of Windows 8 lying around so I will be putting that on it. Like I said this is an Acer Aspire 7741G. Uh, it it is only supposed to come with uh, three gigabytes of RAM, but when I got it, I managed to uh, grab, get my hands on an upgrade one. And here's the inside. You can you can see that the stickers for the RAM have been slightly ripped. Uh, and this is the hard drive. It's held in by one screw right there. If I can get my camera to adjust. Adjust, please. Well, as you can see, it's held in by one screw. So we'll just take that out, then we can slide the hard drive out. I believe um, what my memory is made by, LPDA, I'm not sure if I'm getting mixed up, but I'm pretty sure they've gone bust now. What we'll, firstly, what we'll do is we'll take this hard drive casing off because we're going to have to transfer that to the SSD. Otherwise, the hard drive's got no way of staying in the actual computer securely, and obviously, I don't want that. Right, now we're ready to take the casing off, and maybe the hard drive will come with it. Yes, it did. That's the casing. And this is the old hard drive. This is, a, as I said, a Western Digital 320GB Scorpio Blue Drive. 
I believe it's only a 5400 RPM drive and we'll set that aside. Here's the SSD, it's a SanDisk, it just has plain packaging, it says solid state drive. It's a 6 gigabyte a second drive whereas my laptop is 3 gigabyte a second so but really you never really saturate it anyways. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a bracket on the new SSD and we're going to put it into the uh, computer itself. Welcome back guys, I've got the screw in, so now the whole place is uh, level. I'm just going to put this second screw in diagonally. Well actually, I think I might put it in the bottom because that's where it's sinking. So I'll put that up. See, sometimes magnetic screwdrivers can be a bit annoying. Because when you try to put little fiddly screws in like this, you decide to grab it. And mess with them. Oh, this is playing the same fit, I think. Oh no. Alright, so now the SSD is in completely. Just need to put the fixing screw in. Just a very small, fiddly screw. Really annoying, actually. It's in place. Just screw it in. I've got very wobbly hands. There we go it back on. Make sure you can hear it click. Every single place where it should click. And now screw it in. Now a good thing to mention when you've got an SSD in your laptop, uh, what you should do is you should make sure in your BIOS that you have your hard drive um, configuration set to AHCI, not IDE. Um, also, if you're running an operating system prior to Windows 7, uh, you'll have to optimize the operating system for an SSD manually. Uh, I believe Windows 7 upwards uh, will automatically enable SSD support. So, um, you won't have to do much and you won't, won't have to worry about defragging an SSD and possibly damaging it uh, and what I'll do now is I will go into the BIOS and make sure all my settings are correct. Welcome back guys, as you can see we're in the BIOS, uh, it's recognised the SSD, um, it's also, this is exactly what I've got, it's an Intel Core i3 CPU M350 at 2.3 GHz, though it does rate it a little bit lower. Um, at the moment I've got this Matsubishi, or Mats DVD ROM which will be getting removed as that is where the uh, old Western Digital Scorpio Blue will be housed. Um, I don't really use my CD drive, I don't think many people do anymore. What we'll do is we'll make sure we've got, yeah, as you can see I've already enabled ACHI mode, uh, I don't like ID mode so even when I had my Scorpio Blue in the laptop I add it as AHCI, so we don't need to make any changes. Um, and now we can install Windows 8 and we can see how long that takes. Alright, welcome back guys, we've entered the product key and now we are going to accept the terms and conditions. Uh, make sure the hard drive is formatted correctly. As you can see, the hard drive is there. It's a 60GB SSD. An allocated space. Normally I would create a partition with a, ha a normal d hard drive, but Windows actually does that itself, so you don't really need to bother. So we'll just click next and start installing Windows. Copying Windows files might be actually bottlenecked by the fact that we are using an SD card, not a USB or anything like that. Uh, but it seems to be going quite quickly actually. Welcome back guys, we are now at 96%. Um, it's probably taken about three minutes to get to this stage, so it hasn't taken too long. Um, it is going up still quite quickly, so I'm quite surprised, I'm quite happy that it's actually, well, I'm not actually happy that it's better than my main computer actually, it's a bit devastating. <laughs> but um, once this is finished and we are into Windows 8 for the first time, uh, I will then shut down the laptop. And I will then do a clean, um, clean boot up, as with the blue SS, uh, the blue Scorpio drive, um, and we'll then compare how long it took for it to boot up. 
Hello again guys, the uh, laptop is now shut down and we are about to do a test to see how fast it boots with the new SSD in it. So let's have a look. Let's hope it isn't slower than what the old hard drive was. <laughs> Oh, that's a hell of a lot faster. This part's still taking a little bit, but it's a hell of a lot faster than what it was on the old hard drive. But there, that's uh, power to desktop and really quick. Hell of a lot quicker than what it was on the Scorpio Blue anyways. So what I'll do is uh, I'll be happy with my SSD. Uh, I'll continue to use it, see how well it goes throughout the uh, weeks with normal general use and putting stuff onto it and um, hopefully you guys have uh, found this video quite useful as if, if you want to buy this SSD for your own laptops or computers. So that was uh, Zupertillion uh, upgrading his SSD for his laptop and I'll see you all later.